So here I'm going to outline how you would dust for latent fingerprints. And keep in mind, latent prints are ones you can't initially visually see. So a word of caution when you're going through uh, this process of identifying these kind of hidden prints uh, is that it can be messy, uh, but also a fun process. It's a challenge to, to clean this very fine powder uh, because it does need to get into all those little porous surfaces. So if you get it in areas you don't want it, uh, it's very hard to clean from those surfaces. You want to keep your working area small and try to work on paper or a tray surface when possible to make cleanup a lot easier and to keep things organized. We don't want it looking like the Holy Festival of Colors when we're working with these powders. So dusting and lifting prints from glass or plastic. Uh, first, you want to make the print. So to make a quality thumbprint on the glass or plastic surface, you want to rub your thumb usually against your forehead to help ensure there's enough oils present, uh, especially if you just recently washed your hands. And the goal is to press with moderate pressure in a linear vertical motion on the actual surface. Don't press too hard or roll or smear your print. Uh, because remember, uh, you can also clean the area and try again. A lot of students sometimes try too hard uh, initially. So you just kind of want to, for example, it's the glass, just grab it like you normally would. And odds are you're going to be transferring just enough there um, of oils without ruining the print. Then uh, for dusting and lifting the prints on this glass or plastic surface, option one is use magnetic powder and a brush. So pick up, it's called a beer of magnetic dust, which is just kind of this little area here. It does look like a, a beard. Uh, and dust while keeping the plunger of the brush pushed down. Uh, the goal is to have it hang from the bottom of the brush, as we kind of see example here. And we see the person going and doing here. You want to gently brush uh, the hang dust particles over the latent print. You don't want to smear the print when you have too much pressure. You just want to just very lightly go over it. Because um, if you have too much force or use a plastic brush comes in contact with the print, you're going to damage the actual print. You want to pick up the loose and excessive dust and put it back in the original container. Keep in mind it does take very little dust to accomplish this. Uh, option two would be using just regular dust powder in a, in a brush, which is going to follow very much a similar method, uh, except here you're going to dip the brush lightly into a container of powder and then tap off the extra into the lid. You want to use only a very small amount of powder as you need to dust the print. This comes with kind of some experience, but if you're starting out, use less than you think is what would be my suggestion. You want to lightly swirl the brush over the print and rotate it between your thumb and fingers, uh, careful not to smear the print. Lastly, the brush to use the brush to remove any excess powder that you may have, and hopefully you'll be able to see uh, the print become visible. Dusting lifting prints from glass or surface, you want to then lift the actual print. So great, you've gone through, you've dusted it, you've created a wonderful print. Here we see a whole kind of hand print. Here we see an identified fingerprint. How do we lift that print? How do we get it off the surface? We want to acquire a piece of tape that's larger than the print. Start by sticking a portion near the print and then smooth it over the rest of the print. So you're kind of causing a fixing in one spot, you're smearing it over um, that print and the goal is not to have it shift or move. Uh, this smoothing action, the smearing over, um, we want to have a consistent and even contact. Then after it's fixed, as we can see here, we want to slowly peel the tape off the surface and stick it to a clean flat uh, piece of paper surface for inspection. It's good to have that ready ahead of time. So when you immediately lift it off, you're immediately going right to the, your paper on that clean and flat surface. Now dusting for fingerprints, if you're on paper, so just one example here, uh, touch your thumb or forehead to your forehead and press it on a piece of paper. If you don't see the print, uh, don't worry because these are latent prints. So a lot of students will kind of make the print on the paper and then try to look for it and see if they can see it. A lot of times you won't be able to see it and that's okay. These are latent prints. You want to dust and lift uh, following the same method and a procedure on the previous uh, kind of example uh, for a glass and plastic surface, the same applies to paper. If you do it correctly, you can get a print that looks very much like this. And this does allow for a lot of ability to go through and identify what type of print it is, but also see some of the very specific classifications with that print to be able to see if you have a match uh, between two prints. So hopefully this was helpful and going through and knowing how to dust for latent fingerprints.